Feels like things are getting back to normal, whatever normal is these days. We have recovered 100% of our lost wisdom teeth, which is, frankly, incredible. Thank you for showing up for this show. Enjoy this latest episode of Elaine's. Hello and welcome to Elaine's Cooking Podcast for the Soul. I'm your host, Elaine Martinez. Now, normally I take this time to shepherd folks through a relaxing and warm intro segment and into a show designed as a practical respite from the fresh hellscape that surrounds us. I know so many born and raised in the once balmy climate of L.A. are still navigating the brisk temperatures and thinner oxygen content of the air, and I think we all deserve a few moments to remember a pre-nuclear event world of cooking for reasons other than sheer survival. But I'll be honest, I was too excited about our guest to prepare much in the way of a proper intro monologue. Today, I would like to jump right into the good stuff, folks. We have a really exciting recipe from a really exciting person. He is the first guest I've had on that considers himself a huge fan of the show. So please welcome Aaron. Hello, I'm Aaron, and I'm a huge fan of the show. I am so thrilled to have you here, Aaron. You are the first true stranger that has reached out to me in regards to this cooking podcast, asking all sorts of questions about our guests and what the exact nature and purpose of this podcast is, about my personal alliances and political posturing, very flattering stuff. A true fan. Yes, I am observing that you forego the use of overhead lights and instead utilize the lamps above the dental chairs. Well, I'd be lying if I said it was all to escape detection by officers of the state. I do rather enjoy the tone it sets as we record these episodes here at the L.A. Dental Clinic. Intimate, don't you think? It is quite discreet. Thank you for saying that. But let's talk about you. Now, Aaron, we've rustled up some considerable hype leading up to this episode. I've been getting several requests for the USBs I throw these episodes onto, and nearly a dozen notes passed onto me about their support for the show. I hate to be crass, what with the uh, <clears throat> tragic incident that occurred at Ted's Bread Store, but it has been a fantastic week. Why don't you tell us what recipe you'll be sharing with us today? It is... A mashed potato recipe. Oh my! Yes. I am looking forward to cooking this dish with you here in this abandoned dental practice you once worked at. Do work at. Just because our rations no longer include toothpaste doesn't mean I've stopped poking around in people's mouths, digging out packed down sour punch straws, and filling up the cavities underneath. You know what they say, once a dentist... But before that, an activist... I was going to say always a dentist. I mean, yes, I was politically active previously, but I... How did you know about that? I... Uh, I... I, uh, I just thought that was a phrase. Uh, once a dentist, before that an activist. It rhymes, so that's probably why I thought that. Um, potatoes! Oh. Okay, so you've brought us a pack of instant mashed potatoes of the brand Idahoan TM. Buttery home style. Well, great. Why don't you tell us your plan? I just know you've got a way to dress this up or subvert our expectations with this pack of powdered potatoes. Certainly. May I view your notorious cooking cart? Of course, super fan. Ah, just as reported. I mean... Just as I um, ima imagined. Yep, here we have a little station with some cooking utensils and a few items that were recently put on the contraband list. The toaster oven. Right. Not quite sure if it's legal, but I think the officials over at Ted's Bread Store have other fires to put out, so to speak. Hilarious phrasing, Elaine. <laughs> I bet it was quite the spectacle watching them flee the burning building. I wasn't there. 
And now that we're getting into the grim details of it, I suppose it's rather cold of me to revel in any harm that may have come to the officers or their advertising cyborg counterparts. Um, a cyborg is comprised of organic and synthetic materials. The administers are exclusively synthetic beings and therefore suffered no damage that a quick reboot and a spit shine couldn't fix. Uh, well... <laughs> At, le at least that's that's what I heard from one of my many, many close friends who are also fans of this show. Aw, that's good to hear. Still, your plot to cast out superiors went off without a hitch. I bet that felt good. My plot to what? I don't follow. I said your... Uh, podcast is superior and has gone off without a hitch. Right... Aaron, can I ask you what your last name is? It's Aaron, son. Aaron Aronson. Nice. And a quick follow-up. Are you a spy? Do I aspire to what? Come on. Oh, a spider. I misheard the first time. Definitely not a spider. 100% human, as it turns out. Listen, I am the last person to reduce herself to minimal colloquialisms, but... Dude... Fine, but but don't set me on fire. I just wanted to talk to you. I don't set people on fire. Don't have anyone else do it either. I swear I'm harmless. I see that. Aaron, though I doubt that's your real name. It is not. Or your real mustache. Nope. Stupid cheap glue. Aaron, do you know what the Hippocratic Oath is? Of course. I've watched every season of House before all of this. Great. Then you know that as a dentist, I would never harm anyone. I am sworn to protect the vulnerable, which you clearly are. I am. The state probably paid you in food or something in exchange for information on me and my growing network of unaligned and strictly peaceful citizens. Am I close? Actually, they guaranteed me access to, well, to their DVD collection. Really? That's it? You were bought for the price of a few movies? Hey, I'm not perfect. I am terrible at keeping deals. When I want something, I have to go for it. I just thought I could maybe see if they had the complete series of Northern Exposure on DVD, binge the hell out of that, and then face the consequences of death or whatever. I wasn't going to give them anything that would really hurt you, probably. It seems like you don't really think too far into the future or consider how your actions truly impact others. Wow, you are good. That is just what my partner, marriage counselor, divorce lawyer, and current fiancé said. Are you a psychic? You have to tell me if you are. That's a cop. Shit, where? Never mind. I'm not concerned with my podcast reaching the ears of the state. The truth is, although it's technically banned, I am confident that I am not doing any real harm. It's just a cooking podcast. Nothing subversive. I definitely didn't have anything to do with the fire at Ted's Bread Store. If telling the officers of the state that information means you get to watch a few hours of Northern Exposure, please pass it along with my blessings. Wow. You are amazing! Thank you so much for that. My real question is this. Are you even interested in cooking these potatoes? Um, I guess not Great. really. Great! Um, so, I'm so glad you're willing to stick around and walk us through a recipe for these buttery homestyle instant mashed potatoes by Idahoan TM. Stick around through the advertisement. I try very hard to make them not annoying. This week's episode is brought to you by the L.A. Dental Clinic, the home of Elaine's Cooking Podcast for the Soul. If you're still here after the two and a half devastating nuclear events that have washed over the West Coast, then we want to see what's left of your teeth. Chances are you've noticed that your teeth just ain't what they used to be in regards to both quantity and quality. Rapid tooth loss in the aftermath of nuclear events is inevitable, but the ones that remain deserve only the best. Swing by the L.A. Dental Clinic from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Monday through Friday or 6.15 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturdays for a cleaning. We accept canned goods as payment and other bartering items such as water, soap, propane, and even me undies. 
MeUndies. Because why waste your water washing old undies when you could subscribe and get new MeUndies? If you come in and tell me you heard this episode, I'll extract one rotting tooth from your skull on the house. L.A. Dental Clinic, where we swear to care about the tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth. You just pull on the lever beneath the seat cushion. Woo! Oh, there we go! Now I know what it feels like to be a dentist. Yep, learning how to adjust your stool smoothly is half the degree. You know, I always felt I was destined to become a doctor, that, or an actor. Let's get back into it. Hello again. Thanks for staying tuned to Elaine's Cooking Podcast for the Soul. I hope your break was as informative as ours. I learned that dentists are basically the Alex Karev of the medical world. Or, like, the Wilson character. I'm sorry, I never got into medical shows. Oh, my bad. Dentists are maybe like the John Locke character from Lost? Of the medical world? Oh, the Peggy from Mad Men. Or Carol from The Walking Dead. You know what? Dentists are the Gileses. Uh, Gileses? I never really got into much television, but it appears that you are saying that dentists are ultimately good, even though it seems like we are basically terrible at first. Exactly. You get it. Watching over us, doing what you have to, even when you'd rather be, well, I don't know, drinking water? Something wholesome? Speaking of water... Let's get some water boiling for these mashed potatoes. Will you fill up this one-quart pot from that hand sink? Sure. What is that thing? That's our hot plate I just ignited to boil the water. You have, um, listened to previous episodes? Of course. Yes, I am such a super fan of the Elaine's Cooking Show. Elaine's Cooking Podcast for the soul. Love the hot plate bit, so it's like... A gas stovetop range thingy, but portable? Yes, pretty much. Got your water. What's next? Well, the back of the packet here says looks like equal parts hot water and potato flake. So let's measure out, what do you say, two cups of instant potato into this bowl here? Okie dokie. And now we just need to wait for this water to heat up. So, did you watch more like half-hour network sitcoms or nature channel documentaries? And looks like we're at a rapid boil. Cool. I didn't know I'd be so good at this. For some people, it just comes naturally. Now we just stir. Wow. It went from being weird and flaky to being totally whipped up and smooth looking. This used to be a staple for me. Like in college? Yeah. Even after that, to be honest, instant potatoes were a kind of comfort food after working a long day. They're so fast. Oh my god, they're amazing! And they are so delicious. Holy Jesus, what am I even eating? Let's see. Potato, oil, corn syrup solids, salt, maltodextrin, non-fat dry milk, sugar, sodium cassinate, butter powder. You had me a butter powder. Listen, folks, I'm not going to say that this recipe is the most inspired recipe. Uh, speak for yourself. It's basically a mountain of salt in saturated fats, but hey, these days, every calorie counts in a good way. The ration distribution centers have this item every week, and one package serves a lot of people. If you were to pair this with one of the protein patties we get each week, it's almost a square meal. I want to sit in a tub full of this stuff. Also that. Do you have the time? Not enough time to fill up a whole tub. No, I mean... What time is it? Oh, it's uh, nearly 8 o'clock. Great. I really have to go scurry off. I'm meeting my aunt. I know you're going to report to the officials of the state, Aaron. Right. Thanks again for being so cool. I'm not being that cool. I just don't believe the information you've collected will lead to any harm. But I want you to be careful. You matter. Other people matter. I'll be better. Honestly, once I get to hear the original soundtrack to Northern Exposure, I'll be at peace and won't have to be such a rat. It's silly, but if the world is about to end, I want to be pursuing something that makes me happy. I know it sounds dumb. It doesn't sound dumb at all. I understand. I'm really grateful for that. And for these bomb-ass mashed potatoes, can I take a bit for the road in one of those cone-shaped cups by the water cooler? Sure thing. Take as many of those as you want. 
It's like a little ice cream cone. You could totally market these. I'm taking six. You want one? I'm okay. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. I don't think the world is really ending. I think it's going to be very different. But maybe we can all try to build something good from the ruins. What do you think? I like that idea, Elaine. Me too. Be safe out there. I will. Bye bye. Well, not exactly the kind of night I had in mind, listeners. But I must admit, I learned more than a fast and simple recipe tonight. I learned that there are certain forces at work to divide or undermine those that oppose the state. I am thankful that I am not one of those unfortunate subversives. Sounds like adding gasoline to an already raging fire. Pointless and dangerous, and a waste of good fuel. I was also reminded that nobody is going to thrive in this increasingly small world entirely alone. Separated, we are only a pot of hot water and bowl full of potato flakes. Together, we are something much, much better than either. Merge into each other's mash, listeners. Okay, it is possible that the last part sounded a lot better in my head. I'll have to give it an honest listen during the edit. See if it sounded as weird as it felt. To be honest, I am so hungry, and this pile of Idahoan buttery home-style mashed potatoes (TM) is staring me down. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe out there, and remember to extend the fullest amount of your empathy to your fellow survivors. Meld into each other's mash. Nope, still weird. Anyway, this has been Elaine Martinez. Very hungry, but not crying. Hugging you. Good night. This episode of Elaine's Cooking for the Soul was written and directed by Allison Slice and produced by Mackenzie Mizell. This show was brought to you by the Period Network. Elaine Martinez was voiced by Rosa Delgado. Aaron Aronson was voiced by Rama Valuri. Follow his adventures on Instagram at Rama Valuri. That's R A M A V A L L U R Y. The courier bravely transporting Elaine's episodes was voiced by Rachel Wong. Logo design by Ferdinand Porsche. That's right, the dude who designed the VW Beetle also designed our logo. Pretty neat, huh? Special thanks for Jason Smith and also Sev Severe, whom you can find on Instagram at S E V S E V E E R. As always, thanks to the Boyle Heights Arts Conservatory. Every recipe we use is achievable with a can do attitude, a stovetop, and approval from the interim government. We'd love to hear your apocalyptic recipe ideas and see your attempts at what we've cooked up this week. Remember, boil your water and never give up. Until next time. <sighs> so glad you got to hear another episode of Elaine's. Thank you again for holding on to these cherished wisdom teeth so closely, for stowing them in the false bottoms of your shoes or in the middle of a bag of rice, or for quickly hot gluing a paperclip to the tooth and pretending the whole thing is a very cool earring. Fast thinking, guys. Maybe we'll make it after all. Keep listening. Keep sharing. Keep living. And find us again next week. <laughs>